Hello, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Zachariah the Ghost. I was watching episode 6 of The Wife. Remember, we are on season 2. And on this episode, I was so sure that Mkhele is going to beat Shomo again simply because of she decided to avoid his phone calls. And he was raging, he was so angry when she get home. And she quickly realized that the way he is so angry, that means he's going to beat her again. And the only way to avoid the beating is by announcing that she is pregnant. After he heard that she is pregnant, you know, I saw the way he started breathing different. I saw the way he is trying to collect himself, you know, to deal with his emotions because he was super angry. And she was also scared because the way he was standing right there, he couldn't even get hold of the phone because he was like shaking. I don't know how many missed calls, you know, he, oh man, that was crazy. And that was the only way. There was no way she can even tell him that she was with Alana. She had to say, I am pregnant. Because that was the only thing that can stop him. And I can tell his level of anger that the brother is having some anger issues. Serious anger issues whereby, I think when he's beating her, he just go blank. Whereby he doesn't even see anything. You know, and... They started the episode by showing Asim Kaile, you know, sleeping on his bed and from when she was in the bathroom, of course she was vomiting because she's pregnant, you know, they are dealing with those type of things, women. And he went there to help her, he wanted to know what is going on, what can you do so that he can make the situation better. You know, she was like, she, she's fine. And he was suggesting, you know, to take her to the doctor. He didn't want to go to the doctor simply because of she didn't want him to know that she is pregnant. Remember, this is the beginning of the episode, how they started the episode. You know, and she said, you know what, I'm fine. You don't have to take me to the doctor. And he started complaining by saying, listen, I see you are avoiding me a lot. Even at night, I wanted to do the dance, but you didn't want to dance with me. You didn't want to sleep with me. What is the problem? And she's like saying, she said, let me go to work. When I come back from work, that's when we will have a conversation. We will sit down and talk about it. Simply because of, I know you want to talk, maybe we can go and also get the ice cream. That is his soft spot, you know. Every time they mention the ice cream, you know, he's smiling because he really loved the ice cream. And remember the first day when they met, they went to the ice cream place whereby, you know, Sylvia was selling, you know, the ice cream. And that's how they started their relationship. You know, ice cream will always be, you know, one thing that makes them, you know, be happy in most cases. So she went to work. When she was at work, you know, she was struggling a lot to cope because the friend is very annoying. You know, she kept on asking too many questions. Why are you like this? You know, let's go out and let's chill. Let's go and get a drink. I'm super excited about the article that I'm working on. You know, Shomo was just annoyed. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to go to drink. And she was like, if you want to get drunk, go and get drunk alone. You know, I'm still busy with the article and I'm stressed by the article. You know, that's when she started saying, you're glowing. You know, she was starting, you know, asking too many questions and from her got irritated. She decided to, you know, take a laptop and go to meet the twin brother, Langa. They chilled, you know, at Langa's place. We can see it's Langa's place. Remember that, you know, apartment, it used to become, it used to be, you know, Dr. Sandile and Shomo's apartment before Mkhele will show up and spoil the whole party. So now they were chilling and drinking. I think that must be a sparkling wine, if not champagne, I don't know. But I think it's sparkling. So they were drinking and I remember when Langa was like saying, this is non-alcohol. But when they were tasting it, they were all like, you know what? I think maybe they took a wrong choice of a bottle, a bottle that doesn't taste well or else. You know, he just lied by saying this is non-alcohol. He knew exactly that it is, you know, alcohol. You know, they had, you know, drinks. And that's when they started receiving phone calls, you know. Shomo received a phone call and she avoided it. Lana also received a phone call from the same person, but we didn't know who was the person. You know, and Shomo was like saying, no, don't pick it up. Don't pick that phone call. You know, I just want our time. I just want us to spend time. We don't have to mix up with other people. You know, they wanted to bond and have that quality time together. And of course, you know, that alcohol made them, you know, a bit drunk and they slept. And by the time she woke up, it was late already and she had so many missed calls. And that's when she got home and things 
started to become how they became. That was the last scene because after that, you know, she had to go wake up, go home, and that's when she finds out, you know, Nkhele is very, very angry. And she just realized that, you know what, there is absolutely nothing I can tell him because I know this guy, if I don't pick up a you know, phone, he is putting hands on me. Every time she doesn't pick up his phone calls, he is fighting it. And I don't know why she keeps on making the same mistakes over and over again, knowing that this guy has anger issues. And if you don't answer his phone calls, he becomes very angry. Because he, I think, he has a very low self-esteem. Maybe he is doubting himself a lot or every time she's not, you know, answering his phone calls, he thinks maybe she's with another man. Uh, that's that's how it come across, you know, and that's when she, you know, announced that she is pregnant, and that's how the episode ended. Actually, I know what I did. I know what I did. I just gave you that scene all the way. But there were other great scenes whereby the Majola brothers, you know, they called the meeting, and they were talking with all the taxi owners, and the taxi owners they were also complaining of saying, you know what, they're not they're not making enough money simply because of there are new taxis which are ranking, you know, to where they're working and they don't even know who are the owners of those taxis and how they got there. You know, that's when the Majola Brothers master plan started, you know, kicking in because they said, we told you the reason why other people from taxi associations will come and also work here is simply because of we don't have a leader. We must have a leader who will, you know, make sure that things run smooth. And it's about time we choose a leader simply because of now Gosana and the Zulu brothers, they are in jail. They are busy in jail there and we are suffering. Look at the money that we're making. We're not making enough money. And they acted like they have no idea whose taxes was simply because of, remember, they took an envelope, you know, filled with money whereby they can allow the other taxi boss to put his taxes so that they can rank, you know, to that route that they are using. But they were acting surprised like we don't know nothing about it. Actually, that was their strategy, that was their plan, but other, you know, taxi owners, they were like saying, no, we cannot do it that way, you know, we still have to support Nkosana, you know, but of course, they couldn't, you know, be loyal to him if they're losing money. Some of the other taxi, you know, owners, they start saying, but you guys have a point, you know, we should elect someone. And long story short, they decided to go to the office when Gosana, you know, is working and they spoke about everything. And that's when Gwaza was like saying, I think my younger brother can be the right person to become, you know, the taxi association boss or the chairman whereby everything will be smooth. We will all eat. And while they were all celebrating and they were voting that the younger brother can become the boss, that's when... The Zulu brothers showed up because they didn't know that Nkosana is out of jail. You know, it was just a secret. When he showed up to the office, he was shocked to see everyone, you know, sitting there and they were talking about electing the new president or the new chairman. And already they elected, you know, one of the Majola brothers and he was not happy about it. And he was like saying there is no need to elect the new leader. I'm here with my brothers and we are going to make sure that we continue with our job. But now since because of I'm still having problems that I'm dealing with, you know, I can so solve my problems just like you guys who has also problems. Because the Majola brothers were raising a point of saying, you know, you are a convict, you know, you cannot tell us much because the street is talking, people are talking about you. They're saying you and the commissioner, you are having a problem. And that means if people are talking that way, that will affect our business and your business now become our business. That's the reason why we are saying we cannot have a leader who is still being investigated by the commissioner simply because of if people knows that you've been, you know, investigated for murder of the commissioner's wife, most people are not going to work with us or, you know, our commuters, they are not going to use our taxi simply because of they will be afraid of you. That means we are going to lose, you know, business. And that's when he said, now that you, I told you that I have problems that I'm dealing with, you know, I'm going to step aside and I will elect one of my brothers to be the one who will be in charge while I'm busy dealing with my stuff. And that's when he changed them out and they had a meeting as the Zulu brothers of who will become, you know, the new taxi association chairman. And we have seen Ngova saying, you know, I think I'm the right person and I can make sure that I can do a great job. Also, Kawe wanted the position because he said, I 
proven myself that I can handle some difficult situation and we have seen also you know clearly you know raising his hand and he also wanted you know the position but when they were asking Sambulo, Sambulo said me I don't have a problem any of my brothers who is you know becoming a boss you know I will support you know I don't you know fight for the position I'm just here to support any one of you who will be you know our new taxi association boss will have my full support that's when you know Ngoba started talking to Kawe or saying Kawe I hear you saying you want to be you know our leader but the problem about you is that every time when we need you the most you are nowhere to be found he was referring to a night when they were going you know to break out Zandile remember Kawe said he doesn't want to go there and that's when he spent the night with Fomo and we have seen how you know the whole thing ended up whereby he was sleeping with Fomo and she got pregnant and also when they were arrested when they were in jail he was nowhere to be found you know he was with trauma at the hospital that means that he is not a great leader who can put everybody's interest you know first and that's the reason why i was like saying on the previous episode that i saw that as selfish simply because of he saw that as an opportunity for him to be with trauma and he also you know had a great point and they couldn't even select you know Mkhele because Mkhele is dealing with his own problems we all know how he is always raging how he always want to just do things without thinking twice and that's when Nkosana was like saying you know what I think you know my brother Ngoba he is right you know he's the one who will become you know the leader and that's when the rest of the taxi owners they showed up and you know Nkosana announced that Ngoba is going to become the new taxi association chairman you know the majority of brothers were not happy about the decision because of they know that they have a beef with Ngoba. they've been fighting with Ngoba all along but he said i am going to make sure that everything will run smooth and i'll take this taxi association to another level whereby we can all eat you know that was also a great scene i loved it and on the other side we have seen that you know no Musa was very no Musa actually was very very angry simply because of remember she feel betrayed because Nkosana was supposed to you know book a surgery for her son and make sure that you know everything runs smooth and also take money and give you know Nomusa's mom simply because of now he will become you know the breadwinner remember Nomusa was working well although she didn't have enough money to look after her son and also her mom so she made a deal with Nkosana that she will go on the behalf of Zandile save time but Zandile has to look after her family you know in exchange now for the past three days you know she was so upset you know she did a lot of thinking because she felt like she was betrayed and when Osana showed up to see her you know she was very upset and she was like saying I sat down you know I, I thought about everything that you know we spoke about you know I feel like you know I made, I'm making a mistake and I want to you know change my mind i want to go back and look after my son because the situation is getting worse you know you promised me and i trusted you and you were nowhere to be found that's when Gosana, you know told her that for the past three days i was arrested that's the reason why i couldn't do what i promised you but i promise you that tomorrow i'm going to make things happen i'm going to book a surgery for your son and i will also go and visit your mom and make sure that i give her money so that she can also you know continue with her life you know, Nomusa was very upset and you can tell it's, it's actually frustration of saying, what did I do? Why did I put myself in this situation? You know, because he had to calm her down of saying, sit down, let's talk about this. There is no way you can, you know, change your mind because we spoke about this. Because Nomusa was like saying, you managed to put me in here. I believe you can pull your tricks and take me out. You know, she wanted to be out on that day. Because, you know, mothers are mothers, they will do everything they can so that they can save the lives of their children. It was a great episode, and I've seen that also. You know, Zandile, she was, you know, at home thinking about calling, you know, Nomusa, you know, because of Nomusa. Nomusa, remember, called her on the previous episode so that she can iron things between her and Nomusa since Nomusa is suspecting that she might be Zandile. 
But I remember when Sandida was like, you know, going through things in her head and she was like saying, if Ngosana said he will fix it, that means he will fix it. There is no need for me to go and call Nomusa. What I can do is to, you know, be with my children and be there as their mother and spend time with them. And we also saw at the same time that Ngosana, you know, he was, you know, spending time with the children. The children were swimming there at the pool and he was also, you know, doing some Hisanyama, you know, some barbecue prime meat there, making sure that he is the father, is the husband, is taking care of his family. That was a great scene because right there, that's when you know he was even you know a call. Nomusa wanted to see him, and that's when he went to you know the prison and they sat down and start talking about what they can do. But I liked you know what Ubasana did because although she was frustrated, although she was angry, you know, he managed to calm her down and show her that the reason why I couldn't, you know, do what I spoke with you about is because of I was dealing with a lot, but I promise you tomorrow I'm going to make sure that I do what I said I will do. Guys, episode 16 was a great episode. I really enjoyed the episode, you know, because I don't know how Mkele will, will react after he had that, you know, she's pregnant maybe he will think if it was you know power or it was him but it looks like he's not putting that thing of power too much in his head you know but i appreciate you guys showing me love and support thank you